Hello everyone, this is Kobe Sarial of Hike Starts Here and today we will be talking about how to choose your hiking shoes. Hiking is equal to walking, and when you walk, you need to take care of your feet. Having the right pair of hiking shoes will make or break your hike. For us to have the best experience of the outdoors, I'll be sharing to you my tips and tricks in choosing my hiking shoes. Will this be your first time to hike and still hesitant about buying your new pair of shoes? I got you covered! At the end of this video, I'll be sharing my suggestions on what shoes you may wear. Going back, the five guidelines that I follow in choosing my hiking shoes would be Know what mountain you will be hiking Number two, comfortability Number three, traction Number four, protection And number five, waterproofing Number one, know what mountain you'll be hiking Will it be day hike or multi-day hike? Will there be any river crossing? Kung meron man, gano'ng karami, gano'ng kalalim I remember, the Palawan Mountains for river crossing Victoria Peak to be exact to get to the foot of the mountain, you'll be needing to cross multiple rivers, some are knee deep, some are even deeper. With that in mind, alam ko ang gagamitin ko are ay non waterproof type of hiking shoes. Or even better, hydro shoes. Ang nangyayari dito ay water will come in, but then it will also come out very easily. Another thing to ask, will it be a hot, humid, or cold hike? Ngayon, if I'll be hiking in Nepal in the Himalayas, I'll be staying there for one, two weeks, and I know it will be cold. Ang gagamitin ko immediately would be a mid-cut hiking shoes. Ngayon, pag nasa Pilipinas, it will be hot, it will be humid. Ang gagamitin ko ay yung breathable type or non-waterproof type of shoes. Siyempre, yung feet natin, we want it to breathe. We don't want... We don't want feet that stinky, that sweaty. Hassle yun. Research about the mountain you will be doing to know what's the best pair of shoes you need. Number two, comfortability. Fit. Dapat perfect fit ang paa mo sa sapatos mo. Ang sabi nga nila, if it doesn't fit, forget it. Ngayon, if you will be buying a new pair of shoes, here are my five suggestions when fitting a pair of shoes. Number one, mag-fit ka at the end of the day. Kasi after all the walking and standing, nagsaswell yung paa natin. And yes, lumalaki ang paa natin at the end of the day. Number two, when fitting, use your hiking socks. Number three, pag sunod mo yung sapatos mo, dapat yung feet mo, yung toes mo nagwiwiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Number four, habang sot mo yung sapatos mo, when you start walking, the heel and yung shoes should hold onto it. Dapat hindi lumalagpas, dapat hindi nahihiwala yung sapatos pati pa mo. And number five, when wearing it, dapat walang pain, dapat walang discomfort. Happy feet, happy hike. With comfortability, we have what we call the ankle support. For high cut, mid cut, they provide extra support to your ankles. So immediately, if I'll be, will be doing two, three, five, seven, two, three weeks of hiking, and dami nona, ang gagamitin ko ay mid cut hiking shoes, kasi it provides more support to your ankle, especially yung weight ko mas mabigat. Ngayon, with that support, it also gives me that added protection to avoid any injury like sprain. For comfort, also. Softness and flexibility. Dapat yung sapatos mo kaya, mang, kaya magawa yun. Para yung paa mo could adjust easily to the terrain of the trails. Remember, comfort is key. Number three, traction or grip. Sa mga trails, is very diverse. Boulders, limestone, puno, gravel, muddy trails, etc. etc. So, when looking at your shoes, remember, dapat may mga logs siya. Uh, mga terrain, mga linya, it works as traction on the floor for you not to slip easily. Ngayon, 
looking at it also, check out the quality Vibram, that grip technology or something similar. Pag may ganon, you know, you have a good technology para hindi ka madulas basta basta. Number four, protection. Going back to the sole, dapat it's thick enough to protect your feet from sharp objects like stones, rocks, pebbles, sanga, etc., etc. Also, dapat sturdy enough yung sole para hindi siya nagtitwist basta-basta to protect your feet and your ankles. Number five, waterproof or non-waterproof? I get this question a lot. Kobe, magakit ako ng Mount Ugo or Mount Dulang Dulang Kintanglad or Mount Apo. What's better, waterproof or non-waterproof? I will be sharing to you the advantages and disadvantages that I noticed. For waterproof, woohoo! Siyempre, hindi basta basta pumapasok yung tubig. Second, with the technology of the waterproofing, if the hike is cold, it will provide warmth to your feet. Disadvantage naman tayo. Disadvantages, I mean. Kung naglalakad ka and then there's a river na hanggang tuod pala yung lalim, siyempre, once the water comes inside, it will remain inside. And, ang tagal pa niya matuyo. Number two, naglalakad ka sa Mount Pulag Akiki, for example, biglang bumuhos ang ulan. Yabang mo, sabi mo, naka-waterproof shoes naman ako eh. But then you forgot about your pants na ordinary lang naman. Hindi siya waterproof. What will happen? Your soaking wet pants will drip inside your shoes. Pababa sa yung paa mo, yung tubig nandyan, and ganun din. Nag-waterproof like shoes ka pa. To avoid that, the best partner for a waterproof shoe would be adding a gaiter or waterproof pants. Next, kung alam mo mainit yung hike, it will be hot, it will be humid. Let's say, for example, Zambales Mountains. Then you'll be using a waterproof shoe. Siyempre yung paa mo, it will be sweaty, ang baho nun. And you don't want that to happen to you. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of a waterproof shoe. Again, that will depend with your preference, kung anong gusto mo. Now, baka may madaanan kayo while looking at the shoes, may tinatawag silang breathability. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun is yung shoes mo ay water resistant. Ibig sabihin, pag yung puddle of mud nandito, tubig, kaya niya mga 2 to 3 seconds. At the same time, yung paa mo naman, with all your sweat, yung moisture niya, nalalabas niya. Again, water resistant, but at the same time, the more sure inside your feet or inside your shoes, patatanggal niya. Breathability. Humihinga yung paa mo. What a great feeling. <laughs> Personally, my preferences are, sa Pilipinas or in the Philippines, when I do a day hike, I will be using low cut at hindi waterproof. If I will be doing multi-day hike, I will be using mid cut na breathable. Pag outside the Philippines, I know it will be cold. For day hike, I will be using low cut na breathable. And then for multi-day hike, I will be using mid cut na waterproof. That's what works best for me. O last, dalawa pahabol. Before you hike and wear your shoes, remember to break in your shoes properly. Kung bago siya, gamitin mo muna sa bahay nyo. One week, two weeks, sa mall, sa office. Use it first. Make sure you are comfortable enough with your shoes. Second, please cut your nails. You'll thank me for that. Now, for those of you who will be hiking for the first time, pero ayaw mo nang bumili ng sapatos, I truly understand you. Siyempre, mahal. Hindi nyo pa siguro sure kung yung bundok para sa inyo. If you will enjoy hiking, it's truly understandable. Me! Personally, the first three mountains I did when I was in college was Mount Alamita, Mount Pico de Loro, and Mount Marani. Ang ginamit kong sapatos that time was yung sapatos ko pang training sa volleyball. It worked, pero syempre, medyo masakit. But after my third hike, alam ko, ah, I love the mountains, I enjoyed hiking, and a new pair of hiking shoes is a worthy investment. Ano mga suggestions ko for the people who will be hiking for the first time, pero ayong pang bumili ng hiking shoes. Number one, start small. Dun muna kayo sa mountains like Mount Talamita or Mount Manalmon in Bulacan. Minor hikes muna. Huwag muna kayo gumawa ng major hikes kasi baka hindi niya magustuhan talaga. Number two, the closest pair I would think of na hiking shoes would be your running shoes, 
like this one or ito pang training just remember dapat may mga logs kasi syempre when it's slippery logs will help you catch your fall or hindi ka madulas basta-basta okay number three gumamit kayo ng sapatos na ginagamit mo na usually or regularly kunyari yung gym shoes nyo you've been using it for quite some time already okay yon. but you have a pair of shoes na hindi niya pa ginagamit for the past seven months or six months gamitin niyo muna sa city gamitin niyo muna pantakbo just to make sure it's still in the proper quality Okay? Do not wear chocks. Do not wear, syempre, leather shoes. Masakit yung sa paa. Ito, boots. Kala mo okay, pero masakit yung sa paa. So, do not wear that. Okay? Again, the closest would be running shoes or yung gym shoes mo. Basta may logs. Do you have any tips and tricks that you wish to share? If so, please write them down on the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching. This is Kobe Sarial and your hike starts here.